Hi, and congratulations on your purchase of your new rechargeable DC motor roller shade. Today we're here to walk you through setting the upper and lower limits. First things first, after the shade has been installed and charged for at least eight hours, we're ready to go ahead with the programming. The first step is to depress the small hole that's at the bottom of the motor head for one second until the shade beeps and jogs one time. That woke up the motor. The next step is to press the up arrow key on the transmitter until it jogs one time. Once it's jogged, you're good. Now what we want to do is we want to check the direction of the motor, press the down button and confirm that it moves in that direction. Once that's been done, you can move on to the next step. If for some reason the polarity is reversed, you'll press and hold the middle button for five seconds until the shade jogs up and down one time. That will change the polarity of the motor. Then we move to the next step by pushing the button on the back of the transmitter until it jogs one time. Now we'll raise the shade to the desired upper limit and we'll stop it. We can fine tune it. And if that's your upper desired limit, push the button on the back until it jogs one time and that should be set. Now press your down button. We're going to set the lower limit and we're going to let the shade go and we'll stop it when it gets close to the bottom of the sill and we can adjust it in by hand to where you want it. If that's your desired limit, press the button on the back with the paper clip until it jogs once and then repeat and jog once. Now your shade is set. Let's go ahead and confirm our settings by pressing the up arrow key and letting go. This time the shade should return to the upper limit and stop on its own. And let's go ahead and confirm the lower limit. And it should return and stop on its own at the bottom. And you're now set. Congratulations on your purchase.